attending industry events is an important part of being a recruiter. These are good opportunities to build your industry knowledge whilst keeping your finger on the pulse and taking advantage of face-to-face -face networking. But taking time out of the office as a recruiter can be costly, so it's important to maximise the opportunities at every event you attend. So how can we ensure we get the best return from each of the recruitment events? Number one, be selective. To get the best return, you need to limit your time to the events that you're actually worthwhile attending and focus your energy on the right ones. Do your research beforehand, find out who's speaking, what they're talking about and who's attending. Or check out the event hashtag on Twitter or even the attendee list in the Facebook event page. Or put some feelers out across your LinkedIn. See if you can grab an opportunity to meet some members of your network in person. And number two, plan your schedule. If you show up to an event and don't know what's going on, when, you're already guaranteeing your time isn't going to be used productively. Decide what talks you want to see, who you want to listen to, and allocate time slots dedicated just to networking. You don't need to stick to every little part of your schedule, but you do need to go in with a plan. Number three, focus on making quality contacts. Networking isn't a numbers game. If your tactic is to collect as many business cards with a possible view that you'll say hello to enough people, you're going to get some return. You've got it all wrong. When making new contacts, it's important to focus on having good conversations that lead to quality connections. And this does take time. In order to make networking worthwhile, you want to be asking valuable questions, showing genuine interest and actually listening to what people tell you. If making notes on business cards helps, you remember what you talked about, go for that. That person will appreciate it when you do your follow-up. Even add next steps you'd like to take with them. Are you going to connect on LinkedIn, go for coffee, or simply email over some information? Number four, nail your elevator pitch. If all goes to plan, you'll be having a lot of conversations throughout the day. So having a punchy, memorable elevator pitch will set you off on the right foot. A good elevator pitch is your secret weapon at these events. Take time to think about your USP. I wrote a blog on crafting the perfect recruitment elevator pitch recently. If you'd like a link, feel free to reach out or pop a note in the comments below. Five, debrief yourself as soon as possible. Take as many notes as you can during the day, during the event, but set aside some time afterwards just to remind yourself of the most valuable things you've heard and what your next steps will be to make the most of your day. It's likely you'll end up a few drinks down after an event, but it's important to debrief whilst everything is still fresh in your head. I'd even go as far as suggesting you create a debrief document with bullet points that you can translate into a to-do list later on. I've written a more detailed blog on getting the best return from industry events, and I'll drop a link to this in the comments. Any questions, feel free to reach out.